Yo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 21st to the 27th of November. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Now, some of you may be watching and wondering what the smoke is here. It's just a little bit of incense to clear the energy. Okay, so don't be alarmed. So in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, Leo, so your challenge here is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here, Leo, has a lot to do with a new opportunity that is coming into your life. We're gonna clarify and see what this opportunity means for you and how you can take advantage of that uh, in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Leo, you have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Hermit. So there was definitely this trust issue here in the past where you felt someone here took advantage of you okay or you could have taken advantage of someone here in the past with the eight of swords it really left you in a place of isolating yourself choosing to be on your own okay there's a very strong isolating energy here it's like i don't want to deal with people i don't want to deal with um the situation i don't trust people here in the past and we're going to find out more about that in a moment now in the present moment you have the ten of wands the two of cups and the emperor it looks like in the present moment a very stable connection that you're in involved in is changing. And I feel with the 10 of wands here, something that's been super difficult within your relationship may be coming to an end. Okay. Or it could be the fact that a lot of you have some sort of difficulties in bringing, uh, bringing forth some sort of stability in the relationship, which is leading to some sort of ending. We're going to clarify, find out more for you in a moment. In the near future, you have the King of cups, you have the five of swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So in the near future, something here is moving extremely slow. I am getting an offer of love coming in from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be an air sign, maybe an Aquarius or a Capricorn or a Virgo, okay? And there's a reason why something here is moving slow, which may ultimately lead to uh, an inability to commit or falling out of a commitment here, okay? And we're gonna talk more about that for you in a moment. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles, which is your challenge. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Chariot, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So your biggest challenge here is a lot to do with an opportunity, okay? One of the things that I've been mentioning uh, on repeat, like a broken record to almost everybody is, we are going to be entering into Sagittarius season, which is the ruling planet luminary of Jupiter, okay? So Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which means there's going to be tons of opportunities for all of us. And this is about you not allowing a negative experience, a negative situation from your past to affect you from finding this new opportunity. A lot of you have trust issues with people. A lot of you don't trust. A lot of you aren't opening yourself up to people. A lot of you went through a very difficult situation where you constantly gave and gave and gave only to be disappointed. So your challenge here is wow, you are moving forward, even though you are choosing to move forward, make sure that when you're moving forward, you are open to opportunities, okay? And again, I feel like I've been repeating this on uh, like nonstop, but the reality is everybody is gonna have opportunities uh, as the sun enters into uh, Sagittarius. So that's gonna be a big part of your challenge moving forward. Now, let's talk about the past. Let's talk about what happened here in the past. I wanna clarify the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Leo in the recent past. So the seven of swords is clarified by the death. You have the six of swords and the four of swords. So yeah, in the recent past, you chose to end things with someone. Okay. Uh, you choose, you chose to disconnect or this could be vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Somebody here with the four of swords 
really needed to heal from this, okay? It was a very low blow. Something happened here where somebody just did something and it was like, wow, this is done, this is done. Like, we're not gonna do this anymore. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Leo in the recent past. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Leo in the recent past. Five of Swords, the strength in the sun. You chose to disconnect from this person in the past. And as devastating as it may be, you, what I'm getting here, Leo, is you had some sort of like opinion. You could have said this person to this person, no, things need to be this way. I want it this way. This is how it has to be. There was a huge power struggle. It was like you were trying to stand up for what it was that you want. You wanted in the past. And a lot of you, what I'm also getting, the reason why something here ended was because you may have chose yourself here in the past. You may have chose to just be on your own. Okay, with the hermit. And a lot of you started to reevaluate your life. Okay, so something here pushed you into this place of wanting to be on your own and focusing on yourself in the past. Now, in the present moment, it looks like for many of you, there is this beautiful, there's this beautiful, with the two of cups, there's this beautiful energy of a relationship that you're in. Looks very stable. For many of you, what I'm intuitively getting is something here that's been so difficult for you is finally coming to an end within your relationship. So if you've had issues in your relationship, if things have been difficult, hard, there's been a lot of resistance, that looks like it's coming to an end. But let's clarify the 10 of wands and let's see what this burden is that is coming to an end uh, that has been affecting your relationship for quite some time. I'm getting like for the past 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 years for some of you. Tell me more about the 10 of wands for Leo. So the 10 of wands is clarified by the seven of wands, the eight of cups and the three of cups. Yeah. So in the present moment, it looks like uh, instead of you choosing to walk away from this person, like you may have decided to, uh, it looks like there is an opportunity for cooperation. So even though you're setting boundaries and you're saying, look, you stay there, I'll stay over here. We're still together, but you know, I'm kind of coming towards the situation from a different pers um, perspective. So it looks like somebody here in the present moment has walked away, but then even though they're disconnected, emotionally there's still this okay let's work together let's maybe see if this can work but you're creating boundaries there's a heavy boundaries in the present moment is what i'm getting what's the important message about this relationship for leo in the present moment So the two of cups is clarified by the 10 of pentacles, the judgment and the temperance. So in the present moment, there is a very strong long-term commitment that's coming into your life. It has taken a very long time for this situation to evolve. But I think one of the things that you and this person are realizing is First of all, your relationship is starting to become stronger. Ten of Pentacles is a strong energy of a long-term commitment, generational wealth, uh, committing to somebody 100%. So even though this is happening for you and it looks like for many of you, there is going to be a very solid long-term commitment, it doesn't mean that you and this person haven't learned something because there's something here that has that you and this person have gone through that you've learned and it's leading to more stability here. It's leading to the emperor energy. It's like, yes, we can finally be stable now. We can finally focus on the future. We can finally talk about, you know, our work together, our collaborations, because you and this person could be collaborating on something and that's what's stopping you and this person from having issues. Tell me more about the emperor in the present moment for Leo. You have the emperor, which is clarified by the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles and the four of cups. So even though you and this person are working things out, okay, eight of pentacles is about working, working things out, crafting things, making things happen. You're still in this place of loving yourself. Okay. Nine of pentacles. It's like, I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to do what I need to do. So one of the things that I see here for you, Leo, is a lot of you are starting to recognize very similar to Aquarius um, energy. You can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart, which is very prominent. One of the things that you're now recognizing is, is that you don't always constantly have to be in this place of giving love or accepting love. You can be in this place of focusing on yourself and still love somebody. They can still be there. You know, you're still kind of connected to them, but you're doing you. That's what I'm getting. Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. You know that part of your success and part of becoming the best version of yourself is going to start with you. 
And I've even been doing that. So this resonates even with me. So there's a strong energy here of you not accepting just any offer, not accepting just anything. You're starting to really look at what you truly deserve. And that actually starts when we start to really focus on ourselves and become the confident and independent person that we're meant to be. And that's why I feel your relationship's getting better. Cause you're not only just focused on this person 24 seven, you're also focused on how you're contributing your energy to this relationship. And the more you start to work on yourself and bring that stability into you, the more this person wants you, the more they want to give love to you, the more they're like, Leo, Leo, look at me, pay attention. And that's what you crave, right? As a Leo being the sun, you want to be noticed. That's what you want. You can't, you're as a Leo, you're not somebody who's going to hide behind a bush and you know, live your life like that. A lot of you want to be seen or you want to have your partner appreciate you more, but how is your partner and how is your relationships supposed to get better if you're not appreciating and loving you? Okay. So this is about you finding stability within you first. And that's when the love and the work and the experiences and the opportunities follow. And that's why your challenge is the Ace of Pentacles, because even though the opportunities are there, you need to make sure you know how to get them. Opportunities can be there. You know, people could have the most amazing aspects in their chart. They could have um, Jupiter trying their sun. They could have Jupiter conjunct their uh, ascendant. They could have all these positive aspects, but they don't take advantage of them. So the opportunity is there, but they're not aware of them. Okay. And that's usually what happens with most people. Okay. So that's what I see happening for you in the present moment. Now in the near future, there's love. Somebody here is making it very clear to you that they want you. They're going to do whatever they need to, to get your attention. Uh, let's clarify this love offer that's coming in. Let's clarify the King of Cups in the near future for Leo. So the King of Cups is clarified by the death. You have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. So it looks like for many of you in the near future, there is going to be an opportunity for you to have a new beginning with water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a Libra or another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're going to set things right with this person and it's going to lead to some sort of new beginning. But I also see, Leo, that you're kind of doing your own thing. You're either keeping your options open or you're just doing your own thing here, um, which is really leading you to become more and more wanted. Okay. Five of swords is someone here who's willing to fight for what it is that they want. They're willing to compete for what it is that they want. Tell me more about the five of swords in the near future for Leo. So the five of swords is clarified by the 10 of cups, the seven of pentacles and the hangman. So even though something here is not really moving forward, there's still this, uh, energy of reevaluating. Do I want this relationship? Do I really want to be with Leo? Um, you could be saying this, do I really want to be with this person? There's a very slow moving energy here. So one of the things that you need to keep in mind is if you do want to be in this relationship and you do want to be connected to this person, it may require patience on your end. Otherwise, if you're not willing to be patient or this person isn't willing to be patient, it could lead to not having this commitment. Okay. And I just want to know why for you, why things are moving slow in the near future. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by you have the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So it looks like in the near future, an opportunity is coming in. It looks very promising here. Okay. So the more patient you are, the more patient you're willing to be, the more likely it's going to lead to something great. Okay. So that's something that you need to be aware of. So let's get some advice. Ten of swords, nine of swords, death. Your biggest challenge or your biggest piece of advice here for you, Leo, is to recognize what needs to transform and change in your life. Is there a specific situation in your life that you're involved in where something here needs to come to an end? Or are you in this place of stress and worry about an ending? What spirit is trying to tell you your biggest piece of advice is let something flow. Stop trying to control things. Stop trying to, if something here is meant to be done, don't try to stop it from being done. If something's meant for you, it's just going to show up. You're the sun, you're Leo. You don't have to do much. 
Okay. So this is about you recognizing why an ending or something painful that happened to you is causing you stress and anxiety, whatever it is. Okay. There's a need for you to look at the situation from a perspective of transformation. If we were the type of people who constantly were in a place of positive, 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 everything's good. Everything's great. We don't learn anything from that. Okay. So when people go on, you know, YouTube and they go and they look for tarot readers that are just speaking positive all the time, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's somebody wanting to just, you know, put you in this place of false hope. There's something you need to look at for what it is. Okay. Stop trying to make something better than what it is. If it's done, it's done. If something here has been painful, accept it. Stop putting yourself in this place of anxiety and fear for something that you cannot control. The more you are accepting and opening of the situation that's transforming and changing in your life, the more likely it is you're going to be able to find and have these new opportunities. New opportunities, Leo cannot come in unless we deal with our issues and accept that there is something here that's transforming and changing to also, ultimately, excuse me, bring something better and new to our lives. Okay. This is going to start with you. Not everything is positive all the time. Not everything is going to be great. There's going to be dark times, uh, times of transformation, times of change. And the quicker you accept that, the quicker you're going to be able to be open and available to a bigger and better opportunity. Okay. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.